Hey guys, Steve here with a new episode of Steve Plays. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Atelier Sophie, or Atelier Sophie, something like that, um, which is the newest game in the line of Atelier games made by Gust, published by Koei Tecmo, used to be published by NIS back in the, uh, earlier. This is the first PS4 entry into the series, and I'm this is probably my favorite um, of the newer newer style 3D Atelier games. My all-time favorite Atelier game is still Atelier Iris on the PS2, which is my very first one. I love that game. It's it is a fantastic, fantastic game. Um, but this game uh, basically revolves around fighting monsters and making um, items using alchemy. Um, as you can see here, it's a standard sort of turn-based style um, JRPG where you build up your chain link meter to use special abilities that's what your top three people do mostly and you do it as well um, as the as the alchemist but your your job mainly as that character is to use the items you've made in your shop to battle the enemies uh, you can also sell them or use them for the main objective or for small requests with other people different stuff you can do with them um, and basically just the main objective is to go around and, and uh, collect ingredients on the world map and go back home and make items um, each game follows an overarching story um, usually involved become usually involving becoming a grand master alchemist which uh, this one does as well but it runs parallel with another plot line um, this game's uh, parallel plot line is restoring the memory of a talking book person which is, is interesting. Um, I'm about uh, 10 hours into the game and I'm loving it. Like I said, this is my favorite of the 3D ones at this point. Um, which is, it's, it's a, that's a tough choice because a lot of, they're all really good except for Rorona. But they re, they remade Rorona and it's a lot better. I'm sorry, getting off on to a whole, whole thing there. But um, this is the world map. You go around and go to all these different places to, to find the different types of monsters and different uh, alchemy ingredients. Um, this is the 17th uh, game in the series, which is it's a little nuts. That's a lot. Um, they've come a long way as far as uh, different things you can do in the game. Uh, the evolution of the gameplay. As you can see here, this is me choosing my items from my bag to attack these dirty little poony there's these this these this one is really hard the blue and the green one's not so bad this is probably the hardest one I've played in a while since uh, Totary I think uh, to the Totary which was the second PS3 game it was a little tough I actually only got the bad ending and everyone back and got the good ending on that one because it was so hard um, and that's how the general theme of these games they usually have a good and a bad and a perfect ending most of the time um, I usually get just a good ending per perfect ending is is a whole mastering of the perfecting the flag system which if you know anything about JRPGs with multiple endings the flags flags are can be can be tough a little hard to deal with sometimes <coughs> um I really really enjoy this game I definitely recommend it if you guys are looking for like a um, non-traditional kind of JRPG to kind of mix things up, mix things up if you've never played them uh, don't worry about missing out on any story I, I know I said it was the 17th game in the series but um, they're all loosely loosely connected um, a little bit more connected than Final Fantasy kind of games um, they have the same recurring characters um, just about in every game there's a Pamela just like Sid um, and she's genuinely a very busty ghost lady in this game she doesn't seem to be a ghost but I haven't beaten it yet so I don't know if that's just a thing that they haven't gotten to yet um, there's another recurring character from one of the uh, a few games back uh, he was the main character um, of Eska and Loji uh, Loji is in this game as a blacksmith I, he looks exactly the same age but he talks about finding a stone 20 years ago so he's at least 30 here in this game somehow the art style makes it hard to tell ages sometimes. Um, here's the the um, how the alchemy works. You basically pick your recipe, pick your ingredients, and then you throw them onto this board. Um, all the ingredients all have different effects and do different points. Um, so the, this board you see me throwing things onto is unique to this game. It's it's pretty interesting and and challenging way to do alchemy. Um, like I said guys, uh, pick this game up. It is great. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week with a Steve Plays on Grand Kingdom. I've been promising that video for a while, but it's coming.
All right, guys. I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.